Hello everyone, this is Carol from Chocolate Crafts and Bears Oh My, better known as Gingerberry8 here on YouTube. It's been a long time since I've had a video, so I thought I would post my project today. This is an altered heart box, and it started out with this one right here. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree uh, sometime before Valentine's Day, and as you can see, I painted it around the edges because I didn't want that to come through uh, when I altered it. So this is the one that I altered. I used some recollection paper to cover the box with and I used a lot of uh, cottage cuts dies that's what these are right here and I found that I really like cutting the dies with watercolor paper and painting it what I did is I cut with watercolor paper and painted with gesso and then put glitter on the top and I really like the the vintage look I got with it um, also that's how I created the white flowers I used the um, watercolor paper and I gessoed it and I put glitter on it and that's gesso and glitter too on the pink and I wanted a vintage look to the roses so I distressed the edges and it makes the the edges of the paper are, are nice and fuzzy and I love the way that looks so that's how I did my flowers and then I have a cottage cuts heart in the background here and this glittered heart is from the Dollar Tree and the pearl heart is recollection this is a cottage cut dies with some pink iridescent beads and I use those around the edges of the box and it really sparkles and is really pretty in person so I wanted to show you the inside uh, the top comes off and you can see I finished off the inside of the box and in the box I have created a little mini and it's in the same shape as the uh, box is um, I use that as my template and my little mini um, you can see I try to uh, make it match kind of complement each other with the same type of roses and hearts and little butterflies. I used this little pretty lace um, trim around the outside that I had gotten from um, Lavish Laces and I, again I used the pink iridescent uh, beads around the whole outside. The uh, rolled roses on this are um, I believe it's a Marianne dye uh, that I used and all the roses, these type of roses, the petaled roses are the Spellbinders Rose Creation dye. I used this little uh, love piece of metal that I had gotten at Michael's and on the inside I made a place to uh, put a photograph and I use a little piece of metal here to complement the, the heart and around the outside I used all this um, pretty trim that was in the dollar bins at Michael's that sticky back and this is also a, a recollection fabric rose with a rhinestone in the middle of it um, I've created a pocket with a cottage cuts die that's been painted and glittered and this little pink heart is from one of the the bag from the Dollar Tree that I had gotten. They had the pink and red glittered hearts. And then I put the made these tags. Um, these are some Pinterest uh, printables. They're all roses. I thought they went well with my pink theme. And I made the little tabs from a Spellbinders die and just distress ink them with sponge sugar distress ink. And they just slip right in there. Then on this page I have um, I made a little band with the same uh, border die as this right here on the box and uh, used a, a white rose to complement it and I have these tags right here that 
our, our Pinterest find and I glittered the roses and it just um, slips down in here on this side I used a heartfelt creation corner piece it just fits perfectly for the hearts to create a little pocket to hold these sweet little tags that I made with a Sizzix die and I just tied some little seam binding around the edges and distressed with that uh, pink uh, sponge sugar distress ink around those edges as well and then this also is a, a Sizzix die um, with a little rosette with a little pink rhinestone heart and on this page these were also at the Dollar Tree um, I had picked up the pink ones I like them they're fabric and they got little fabric uh, roses on them and they have a little um, sticker in the back so that you can glue it inside your mini albums or your cards if you were making cards and this is a recollection piece that says love and I have a little bling uh, daisy type of flower here with a oh, pearl center and I have some more pretty trim this isn't the recollection trim this is uh, another trim that I had got from um, lavish laces and in here I made a library pocket with the cottage cuts dies and it holds these tags uh, that I got from Pinterest really pretty they really complement this album because of the pink I'll just leave that out on this end I have a place for a photograph and again I use the cottage cuts die but I cut the little curls that were on the ends here off and you can slip um, a photograph underneath here um, for putting you know if you want to put one in here um, that way or however and this is from uh, Michaels as well the dollar bin little daisy with a pink center it's very pretty and then on this page I only made this uh, five pages because I wanted it to fit in the box I had some of this trim here which is like little roses with pearl beads in it and I put that on the round the outside and I used a cottage cuts heart in the background and I cut this image out and um, mounted it onto the heart and then this opens and then it's a uh, uh, spellbinders die that I created this little uh, folder with and then on my last page I used a uh, cottage cuts die that was a doily it says love kisses and hugs around the outside and I cut some of it off and I cut this little rose image out and mounted it and it holds these two tags inside really pretty I like the colors they match the album really well so it's just um, attached you know down here and on the sides to hold the tag and then I put the same type of trim around the back as I had in the front and then I just used a jump ring and some fibers on there and uh, it fits right inside the box so thank you for coming to look at my project today I really appreciate it I hope that um, you enjoyed it and you'll leave me a comment and Happy crafting until I see you next time.